In this demonstration, I'm going to show you the principle of electromagnetic induction, which is the idea that a changing magnetic field can induce current in a nearby conductor. This is how generators work. So in this demonstration, I have a huge electromagnet. Why is it a huge electromagnet? Because just like the mini electromagnets that we made in our project, where we wrapped a nail with wire and connected it to a battery, this has a huge uh, iron core. This is a pipe full of metal rods. So you can think of this as like a giant nail. And then we're wrapping this with wire here. So this is creating a pole on one end and a pole on the other end. And this is our huge electromagnet. So what's gonna happen is this will create a magnetic field in the space around it, just like our mini electromagnets did. But this magnetic field will be a little bit special because I'm gonna connect it to alternating current. Alternating current is current that goes back and forth. So when you connect a plug to the wall, you're connecting to a source of alternating current. In the, in the United States, we get 120 volts of alternating current that goes back and forth 60 times per second. So down this wire is gonna be current going this way, and then this way, this way, this way, this way, 60 times per second. When I do that, that's gonna flip the poles of my magnet back and forth, north, south, north, south, north, south. And it's gonna take the magnetic field in the space around it and switch the poles, north, south, north, south. All right, so I'm gonna plug in the electromagnet. Here we go. So you can see that those were really strongly attracted to that, uh, to the iron core here. And now, um, so imagine we've got this very strong magnetic field surrounding this electromagnet. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to place a copper ring around the electromagnet. So the law of electromagnetic induction says that if you have a changing magnetic field, which in this case we do have a changing magnetic field because we're connected to alternating current, right? Back and forth, back and forth, uh, 60 times per second. So that's creating this magnetic field in the space around it that's changing north and south poles 60 times a second. And if you have a changing magnetic field, you can uh, create a electric current in a nearby conductor. Well, copper is a perfect conductor. So this copper ring is gonna experience a push of the electrons inside of it, which will push current through the ring. And if we induce current in this ring, well then this thing will then create its own magnetic field in the space around it. And so this copper ring's magnetic field is now gonna interact with this giant electromagnet's magnetic field. And when two magnetic fields interact, they can create some interesting effects. So now I'm gonna plug it in again using the copper ring. All right, so now, um, here we go, electromagnetic induction. Launches that ring up because the ring's magnetic field is interacting with this <laughs> magnetic field and it's causing a repulsion. I'm going to try it again with a slightly lighter ring. This is now aluminum. Current will be induced in the aluminum ring. The aluminum ring will produce a magnetic field around itself, interacting with the magnetic field of the giant electromagnet. Here we go. The ring goes even higher because the ring is less heavy. That's uh, electromagnetic induction.